Hey there guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for watching today. Today we are back with some more Funko Pop news as this week we did get a ton of brand new Funko Pop announcements, stuff that just got released or will be releasing in the very near future. We have a bunch of different lines from Disney to anime to even sports to talk about today. Now before we get into the rest of the video, if you guys are new to the channel, you do enjoy Funko content, make sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, also leave a like in this video as well if you enjoyed it, it does make a massive difference and if you never want to miss a video you can always hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop now let's jump right into the Funko Pop news and the first figure we have to talk about is a brand new Disney Pop and it's actually a brand new Stitch Pop we have a brand new line of all of these different types of Stitch figures of him dressed up as different Disney characters they did this a couple years ago for Olaf and now they're doing it with Stitch and we got our first look at the brand new glitter diamond exclusive Stitch Ash Cheshire Cat this will be exclusive over to Barnes and Noble you actually see here in the glam shot Barnes and Noble has a new updated sticker as well now also speaking of Disney one of Funko's favorite Disney licenses to just pump out pops for is Nightmare Before Christmas. We've gotten so many Nightmare Before Christmas pops over the past few years, and we're getting brand new ones yet again. This time, it is going to be Nightmare Before Christmas Summer Edition. So we're gonna have a couple brand new pops along with some plushies of Jack Skellington and Zero in their beach attire. And then we also have Sally with her sunglasses in her beach attire. And then you can get each of those characters as their own pop plushies. I am not a big fan of this one at all. I just think the Nightmare Before Christmas pops have just been done to death. You got to make more interesting characters or more interesting sculpts if you do want to go back to these Nightmare Before Christmas pops. They've just done way too many recently and usually these seasonal type of pops that are not Christmas don't go over too well. Now we're going to slide over from Disney over to sports as we got a good amount of brand new sports pops that were announced. One that I'm super excited about is going to be a Funko Shop exclusive. This is actually our first pop of Wilt Chamberlain. And not just any Wilt Chamberlain pop, it is Wilt Chamberlain's 100 point game pop. That iconic photo of Wilt Chamberlain holding up the sign that says 100 after he scored 100 points in an NBA game, which has never been done since. And we have him with that same paper, but he's standing this time compared to the photo where he is sitting. Definitely a great looking pop. And then we're getting another NBA pop. This is actually for the brand new NBA Jam pops that are going to be coming. They did recently announce multiple two packs, but now we are getting a single character as well. This is Dennis Rodman, and this is going to be exclusive to the Funko Shop and limited to just 5,000 pieces, as you can see there on the sticker. Definitely a cool pop, especially with that basketball up in flames. And then for sports, MLB got in on the action as well as we're getting brand new pops for a bunch of players we've never gotten pops for before. And for the players who have gotten pops before, they are getting new updated sculpts, which is definitely cool. So some of the players we're getting is Jose Altuve from the Houston Astros, Freddie Freeman, who plays for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Jose Ramirez from the Cleveland Guardians, we're getting Sandy Alcantara, who I believe is his first pop from the Miami Marlins. We're getting Joey Mesnis from the Washington Nationals. And then finally, we're getting Matsutaka Yoshida from the Boston Red Sox. And I like how they did a lot of really well-known veterans and also did some younger players as well that are coming up. Definitely a good mix. Now, over this past weekend, we had one of the biggest music festivals of the year happen here in California, and that was, of course, Coachella. And Funko actually got in on the action and announced a brand new Funko Pop for one of the artists that was performing at Coachella, and they did reveal it on social media. It is going to be Doja Cat. And what's interesting about this is it's actually going to be a pre-order, something they've only done really once before. They did last year with the Jason Kelsey Funko Pop. They did that earlier this year with the Jason Kelsey Funko Pop, but now you can pre-order this Doja Cat, and it is going to be a festival exclusive with that unique sticker on it. And this is the first time we're ever getting a Doja Cat Funko Pop, so fans of her will definitely love this. Now we're gonna slide over to Five Nights at Freddy's as we do have a brand new pop coming, and I know a lot of people are super excited about FNAF, especially with the second movie coming out next year, and we are getting a brand new Funko Pop as well. This is Moonlight Freddy. 
Definitely a really cool design. I love the colors, especially with those yellow eyes. It is going to be an Amazon exclusive. It is now available for pre-order if you wanted to add it to your FNAF collection. And now we're going to finish it off today with some brand new anime figures. We have a few different new anime figures that just dropped or will be dropping very soon. Our first one we have is going to be exclusive over to Box Lunch. It is, of course, a one-piece pop. This is a brand new uppercut Luffy Definitely a cool looking pop there, especially where he has his fist kind of all red and blacked out, like when he was just using his powers, jumping up in the air. Definitely one that a lot of people are going to be going after. And we did just get a reveal of the next anime exclusive going to Chalice Collectibles, and it is going to come with a chase as well, so you can pre-order it to get the pre-release sticker on it as well. We are going to be getting one from Jujutsu Kaisen. This is Megumi, and not only will it be that really cool design, just a super crazy mold, but also going to have that glow-in-the-dark chase variant where it looks like kind of that green sludge or whatever it is is going to be lighting up and then another brand new anime exclusive we have is from hunter hunter this is gone freak and this is actually going to be an earth day exclusive to the funko shop definitely a cool look there i love the cute little critters he has on his head and also by his side where he is going fishing and i really like the box they use that they usually try to do these for earth day where they're more recycled material and i even like that green sticker and speaking of earth day our final pop today is going to be exclusive over to box lunch for earth day and this is my melody definitely an adorable looking character there with those little ears and everything so cute and of course it is going to come in that earth day box made out of recycled material they usually do this every year with box lunch does get an exclusive this year it is my melody well there we have it guys there's our look at our funko pop news today definitely a lot of really cool pops coming in a variety of different lines as well so that's definitely exciting that they're mixing it up they're not doing the same characters over and over again except for when it comes to nightmare before christmas we just always keep getting new ones there and i would say that all of the pop we talked about today are now available for pre-order or in the case of some of the upcoming fungo shop exclusives they will be released over the next month or so so definitely stay tuned to be able to grab a lot of those pops or head to entertainment earth or amazon or any of the places that you pre-order your fungo pops to grab these but now I do want to throw it over to you guys. What do you think about our Funko Pop news today? Any of these spark your interest? What is your favorite pop? Do you plan on grabbing any of them? I would love to know what your guys' thoughts are on all this in the comments down below. And of course, if you guys have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it. And of course, you can always hit that notification bell to be notified whenever we have new videos drop. But thank you guys so much for watching today. And as always, we'll see you again real soon.